Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look at my Amazon KDP results for August. So August for me was a really good month when it came to self-publishing. I published five of my very best books so far. I started working up some other areas of my business. I took a little trip to Barcelona and enjoyed a lot of tapas. But one of the most important things that I've done this month is focus more on launching my books effectively. So for August, I launched five medium content books in total. Two of them were my largest colouring books to date. They were quite broad categories, so I needed to go in with a high number of colouring pages to differentiate myself. And then I also launched three activity books for kids as well. So what does that look like in terms of orders? Let's take a look. So the orders for August were really strong and consistent throughout the month. If we go to the breakdown of my books that I've sold, the top three were new releases, either this month or the end of last month. And the rest of the books below are mostly organic sales or the from ads that are still running but at a profitable rate. Now, if we take my eight best selling books here, three of the top four are large coloring books for adults. The second one is a UK specific word search book. The fifth one is a sports journal. The sixth and seventh are colouring books again for adults. And the eighth one on the list here is a joke book that I released ages ago. So it's nice to see that a few of them are still getting organic sales. Looking at where I'm selling my books, normally the US would be well and far ahead for me in terms of my orders. That's a marketplace that I focus on, especially with launching my books. But I did launch a few over the past few months targeted to the UK that have performed really, really well. So we're seeing those come through in August, and then we're getting a few sales coming in from Canada, some from Sweden, Australia, and Germany. If we take a look at the split of my sales for August, you can see that there's not really one book taking over and selling loads. However, at the beginning of the month, the light yellow bar is definitely the one that's out ahead in terms of best selling. And that was one that I launched at the end of last month. That was my UK specific word search book. The launch campaign for that was really strong and it's continuing to sell organically. Then as you might notice, when we come onto the 14th of August, this light blue bar starts to take over. Now that was the launch of my new coloring book. I spent quite a lot on it in terms of advertising, but now it's ranking really well for some key keywords. Most of the sales for the yellow bar and the blue bar there would have been driven by ads. And that's why as you go further into the end of the month, the amount of orders for that yellow book is going down slightly. And that's because I'm pulling back on the advertising. And most of the sales towards the end of the month for that yellow book will actually be organic sales. Now, if we take a little step back and look at what my sales look like compared to the rest of the year, we can see incredible growth on Amazon KDP. At the beginning of the year, I was barely selling 70 books a month. Now, a lot of this is driven by increased ad spend, but it's also driven by more quality books that I'm releasing. So around May, June time is when I really dialed up my ad spend, but it's also when I started releasing more books. And as you can see, we've had month on month growth and I'd expect this to continue and get even bigger moving forward. So speaking of ads, let's see how much money I actually spent on ads in August. Going into the US first, you can see that this is just not profitable. An ACOS of 51% is never gonna be profitable. And that's because you have to pay Amazon printing costs and then you get 60% of the royalties after that. If you want to find out more about ACOS, I recently did a video on it. In that video, I go through what it is, how it works and how to make it work for your Amazon ads account. There should be a link to that in one of these corners. Now moving forward, we spent almost $450 in the US. A lot of that was actually from launching a couple of my key books. And when I dove in and had a look at the figures, I actually saw that I spent over $300 on launching some of my key books for August. So imagine we took that off and we looked at how much I was spending on ongoing ads for August, it would be closer to sort of $100. It's just that I'm investing a lot of money in these book launches to try and get them ranking for keywords. That way we're gonna get a lot more organic sales over the long term. So just taking a look at a few of my ad campaigns in the US from August, four of the top five were book launches. And so you can see there that ACOS just aren't profitable. The second one down 
is actually from a book that I launched last month and I realized that ACOS was still too high. So I've dialed that one back over the month and then hopefully for September, that one will be closer to source of 20 to 30% in terms of ACOS. That might mean less orders for that book, but it means that we're not losing money. Going over to the UK and you can see I've almost sold the same amount of books for a much lower price. So my ACOS over here is much better. It's still not completely profitable overall for the month, but it's much closer to break even. And that's mostly because some of the books that I've launched in the UK are in smaller niches. And so the cost per click is lower and the conversion rate tends to be a bit higher. So I'm quite happy with my UK ads for August. Ideally, I'd bring that ACOS down a little bit, but I know that I did spend quite a lot of August launching my UK specific word search book. Moving on to Canada, and I just tried a few things in Canada for this month. I noticed for low cost, I was getting a few sales in Canada in July. So I thought, why not add a few more campaigns, dial it up a little bit and see how Canada goes for August. For 35 Canadian dollars spend, we sold 12 books at a 21% ACOS. Overall, that's around our break even ACOS. So quite happy with Canada. I might scale this up for September and see what we can accomplish in the Canadian market. And then in Australia, we started running a few campaigns. We managed to get one order at a spend of 264. Now I am finding it quite hard to get impressions in Australia. So I'm gonna keep testing this in September and see how we get on. Putting that all onto the page, my ad spend for August looks like this. So the total ad spend isn't gonna be completely accurate because I've just used Google to convert the currencies, but my total estimated ad spend for August is 571 pounds and 83 pence. Now, before we go into the profit, we're gonna have a quick look at my launch in the US. So these were all of my campaigns for a single book in the US marketplace. And I drove almost 300 clicks and got 34 orders. So that's a decent conversion rate, less than one in 10, but it's a high ACOS of 53%. Now, as I've mentioned, I've done this to try and rank for keywords so that over time we are selling more books organically. But as you can see, we had a quite a big peak for about 10 days and then I started bringing the cost down a little bit. So hopefully moving forward, that spend will go down in September. And if we go into the UK, you can see a good example of this. So this was my word search book in the UK. I launched it at the end of July. So if we take a look at this chart, the blue lines are the orders and the orange line is the cost per click. Now, over the month, the cost per click has been coming down and down and down. Now, what that means is we're likely to get less clicks, less orders, but it means that when we do make an order, it's gonna be more profitable for us and the ACOS is gonna be lower. So I launched this one at the end of July, continued with high ad spend at the beginning of August, and then brought it down naturally towards the end of the month. If this type of thing is interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you've not done so yet. One of my next videos is gonna be about launching your book using Amazon ads. And that's gonna be a really in-depth video going into my launch strategies. But coming back to this book in the UK, in August, we had 33 sales from ads, but we actually got 70 orders total. So that's showing that Amazon is starting to sell this organically. And if I didn't have ads running, I would have still sold 37 copies. Okay, and then coming back to the figures, we had 751 pounds in royalties, an ad spend of 571 pounds. And that means for the month of August, we got an income of 179 pounds and 49 pence. So on top of that, unfortunately, we also need to add my expenses. In terms of my direct Amazon KDP expenses, I just have two subscriptions. One is to Midjourney and the other is to QuickBooks, which is an accounting software, which means my actual take home profit for August is 147 pounds and 99 pence. Now that's only gonna keep growing and growing, especially if I pull back on my ads a little bit, that profit would go up. So I actually spent around 400 pounds launching new books in August. So the direct profit for those won't be included in here. They are books that are gonna rank organically and sell over a long term. So if we wanted to take those out of this, my take home profit would be closer to 300 to 400 pounds. But I'm focusing on scaling this business and scaling it quickly. So I'm not interested in three to 400 pounds a month. 
I want to get to a thousand pounds a month plus as quickly as possible. And the way that I'm gonna do that is by creating more quality books and launching them effectively. So going on to my September goals. I managed to release five really high quality books in August and I'd like to do the same again for September. I'm gonna go through and optimize a lot of my ad spend for books that I release in August and bring the cost down on those. And also I'd love to make some more YouTube videos. So that was August for me on Amazon KDP. I want to know how you got on as well, so make sure you leave a comment below. I hope that you found this video useful. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.